there was a time where, when I was teaching high school, um, where the principal was the most important person in town, where the school teachers were, were revered, where parents wanted to work with the teachers to help educate, help their, their kids grow. Um, and then over time, um, not so much. Um, teachers these days, um, I think it's just a, it's a hard job because I don't know that they get the cooperation. They get more criticism. Yeah, as a teacher? Yeah, I, 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 taught, I taught math and coached high school for 16 years, something like that. Um, and I always felt like the, 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 anything I was doing to help their, their kids, the parents appreciated. And I think that gets questioned often now that, and, and that's got to be difficult. Um, so I, I don't know that the kids have changed that much. Although you started in Appalachia, right? No, I actually started in Kansas, a couple different okay. schools in Kansas. And then I was in Bristol, uh, Virginia. So you're uh, saying kids in Kansas, Virginia, and Indiana over the last 50 years? They're all the same. Um, they're all the same, but you're right in terms of what social media has done and, and um, the stuff that they want to make public um, and the affirmation, that the positive affirmation that they seek. But again, that's very superficial. Has any of that changed the way you interact with them? I don't think so. Because that's the superficial part. That's the part that... But they know that coming in. I think, uh, yeah, I think so. Um, you know, we've got a guy right now, our media guy right now is constantly pumping them up and constantly putting stuff out there. And that's fine. That's the world we live in. And, and, and I anticipate that it's going to create enough issues over time that that something's going to have to change a little bit about that because I, what happens what happens these days is athletes and parents get a whole lot of recognition for doing some really mediocre things and um, it, it just really makes it difficult for them to get to get in touch with the reality of, of what we do um, but at some point in time, that reality just smacks them in the face Can we talk about that pretty story? hard. Of sure, do. sure. Um, you know, somebody. It's very easy to to look at results and look at lists and see what it takes to be successful at certain levels. Um, if if I want to be a collegiate Division One Power Five miler. Right there. Uh, Myler, you know, yeah. if I don't run 355, 356 low, I don't even get to go to the national meet yeah. and that try to score. Guarantee success it just allows you access. Yeah, you have access. Well, you've got some kid running 426 in high school, and I've always wanted to go to school X and be on the team. It's like, no, you can't do that. You just can't. There's, yeah. there's a hard line number in track and field yep. that will allow you to get in. You can't do that. And not only that, if I allow you to be on the team, every day you're going to be reminded that you can't do that. And how's that going to be good for you? And, and there are places, but I've always wanted to go to Division I. Well, you're not a Division I athlete. Well, my parents, and it's just, it's, it's, you become the bad guy if you deliver that message. But there are Division I schools where they could go. Yeah. The, there's mid-majors, there's programs that, don't emphasize excellence. There's, there's a lot of places where they could go, but they want the school to match. They want their choice of schools to match their talents, and that just doesn't happen very I often. I comfort in this. It's, you know, it's a dark spin on it, but I see that you don't lose sleep at night crushing kids' dreams because you're telling them the truth. Yep. And in a world where reality and truth is so hard to come by, I find that comforting. And and. Yeah, actually, in, in home visits, recruiting when I was busy doing that, um, that would, you either get them or you don't by telling the truth. You either tell them, this is the way it's going to be, 
it's not going to change. This is a challenge that you're taking on. If that's what you want, let's go. And if that's not what you want, go find someplace else where they're going to pat you on the back every day for doing nothing. So, um, but it's, it's, you don't help people by putting them in situations where they can't succeed. But at the same time, then you remember the Sarah Pieces of the world who had no right to think that she could run Division I, didn't ever score in the state meet in high school, and ends up getting fourth in the NCAA championships. My 